Westine's great house and its estate conceal many surprises. One of the most unusual is in this wooden shed. It's an ancient monument, or rather, a collection of every sort of ancient stonework you've ever seen, all specially built to be dismantled and rebuilt by students time and time again. It's quite good fun, actually. West Dean's building conservation courses are world famous. I'm a practicing architect from the Pacific Northwest of the state of, uh, in the state of Washington. I'm from Turkey. Oh, I'm from Latvia. Uh, in between Cromer and Sheringham, based on the North Norfolk coast. In a previous life, I was a bank manager. <laughs> These students are here to learn how to restore buildings and precious monuments using original methods and materials. It's typical of the college that Edward James founded to give his family home and fortune a purpose after he died. Edward knew his father always wanted Westine to stay intact as a community. And Edward had an idea how to do it, a specialist college supported by the estate. Edward was very concerned that the Second World War would um, be the end of many traditional crafts. And he wanted to make sure that through Westine and his legacy, that those traditional skills would be maintained. This is just what Edward had in mind, a masterclass in traditional stonework. Very few people know these skills anymore, and there's business for people who can do it. English Heritage National Trust, they're producing grants, large-scale grants for work, uh, but can't find contractors with the sufficient knowledge and background to be able to fulfill their requirements. I've been a builder for a number of years, so I've been looking to, uh, to train and learn traditional skills. I'm an assistant inspector of H Monuments based in Bristol. I know the theory of some of this, but doing the practice is very useful, because yeah. then if you ask someone to do it for you, you know what they're talking about. Mm. And it's the, oh, it's going to take three weeks. No, it's going to take a lot longer than that. <laughs> It's distinctly a jigsaw, yeah. and it's a jigsaw when you haven't got the box. The stones have to go back exactly as they were, but laid to be both authentic and now strong. That 16 is going to be tight there, isn't it? Learning to understand the history of a ruin is a vital part of rebuilding it. The course is led by world-famous experts like Colin Burns, who make stone walling sound like poetry. Everything on the monument tells a story. The drama is that these walls, they have collapsed. Sometimes the roof is burnt or collapsed in through rotting by having the lead stolen away. Some sites were destroyed with gunpowder, for goodness sake. So all the parts that we can leave there intact are very, very important. We have to leave our work looking as though it's 100 years old or more. Students have to combine new techniques with very ancient knowledge. To make it more interesting, you put, you know, you cut hollows out of it and get the stones to cast shadows. I've just done that, for instance, and, you know, there's a lovely shadow under there. There's a bit more to it than you think. <laughs> there are nine more master classes to tackle, and enthusiastic builders sometimes do work their way through the lot. Highly qualified, then, they're much in demand. I really 